Remember Us is a brand new feature film all about discrimination and dementia in contemporary Britain. And I'm thrilled to be joined by its director and writer, Caitlin Boxall. Caitlin, uh, great to meet you. You must be so thrilled and possibly pretty tired now that the yeah. film has been written, it's been made, and you're sat here talking to me. How, do, how does it feel looking back on those months? Uh, relieved, actually. As you probably know, with, um, with the filming process, it, like things go wrong, things happen. So things get pushed back, pushed forward, you know. So, uh, you know, we had our obstacles, but I'm just relieved, you know. I, I enjoy the process, like I really enjoy the, the journey of making it, but um, relieved that we've kind of come to the bit where we're like, whew, we've, you know, we finished it. Fantastic. Uh, the brilliant Rob Trend plays Mr Miller, a man who's in the early stages of dementia. But as we talked a little bit off camera, it's, it's more than that, isn't it? It's a, it's a film about discrimination and it's a film about two people from different generations and, uh, and, and backgrounds who come together. Yeah, um, the initial aspect of it before developing the whole storyline as a whole was I wanted to mix two different people as our two different main leads. I wanted a black boy from this generation to befriend an elderly white British man suffering from dementia. And that was the only thing I knew at the time before developing it. I was like, I want these two people to become friends. I want to have a bond. And I knew that I wanted Lucas to kind of be someone that was stuck in this life of crime, came from a council estate, and he meets Mr Miller through community service. And it's this elderly man who's got his own problems as well. Like, even though he's probably got a completely different life to Lucas and Lucas comes into this home as what he thinks is perfect uh, but it's not so perfect and Mr Miller is suffering from his dementia you know he's got his own problems as well and he teaches Lucas quite a lot um, and aside from that main base of it it also tests the discrimination of Britain society it shows how you know where you come from a council estate you know this world kind of doesn't really allow you to kind of break out of circumstances that you're born into. Like Lucas comes from a certain background, he's stuck in a certain group of friends, doing all this crime, dipping in and out of good and bad. And Mr Miller and the community service supervisor, Frank Harper, who plays Steve, he they both set him straight and kind of get him on a narrow path, in a sense. When was that then? 73, 74. Oh, blimey. No one remembers me, eh? Yeah. I didn't think anybody was alive that see me play. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Lucas! Hurry the fuck up, we ain't got all day. It's quite a, quite a pertinent uh, storyline, the idea that your the circumstances really dictate your future most of the time. And I think we're often told, you know, we're living in a sort of an era of real sort of hyper self sort of self improvement, you know, that, uh, that, that you can achieve whatever you want. And actually, the reality is, a lot of the time, you're, the, the, the limitations on your life are set from a very early age, and obviously that those are yeah. those are themes that you wanted to um, portray in the film. It, yeah, that's definitely what I wanted to portray, and I wanted to portray because um, the um, the base of it, it's like it's showing racism in you know discrimination in those forms and the dementia awareness, but also it's got other themes um, where it explores discrimination with age, and it shows how. Even though you're from a generation of like Lucas's, um, you know, you're like, you're a teenager, uh, it doesn't matter, you can still be friends with someone of an older generation, it doesn't matter, you know, you can bond and find things in common with a much older person, you know, it is possible. And just because they're old, it doesn't mean to say that, you know, they, they haven't gone through what you've gone through, it doesn't mean to say they don't understand you, you know, they, they, they know exactly where you're coming from. And it also tests, um, relationships with other people there's kind of topics revolving all around the characters and how Lucas struggles from one part of the other within the film how long did it take to write like when did this when did remember us sort of hit you when did you know that this was the movie that you were gonna put put down um I think it was just coming to the end of um Covid really because I, I kind of finished my previous film behind closed doors and then when I came to the end of that, I thought, oh, I really want to do a feature film. Um, and I wanted to do something that was quite raw British, something that raised awareness of all different kinds of topics, something that was that had a bigger storyline to it and that was really powerful. And I noticed, it was when I noticed in the media that a lot wasn't being discussed about dementia. And dementia's not really something that I've got a huge insight on, but I knew it was a topic that I never really saw 
anything being discussed about. I didn't really see much of dementia, so I knew I wanted to do something around that. And also uh, BLM was going on recently before that, so I wanted to kind of do something that tested these subjects that, weren't, that were being quite overlooked. And, here, and now we're here now yeah. talking about it. You know, you've finished it, yeah. it's, it's edited, it's all done. You know, it's your little baby, you know, you're, you're, you must be, yeah. it, it, when you're making it, you're probably too busy to worry about the outcome. And now it's done, it's, it's this period where um, you, you now can't change it, right? So it's, is yeah. it, it's this, this thing that you just have to put out into the world and hope that people respond to it. Is that yeah. exciting and nerve wracking? Probably a bit of both. Yeah, I, I think overall it's exciting. I'm really excited about it. I, I'm like nerve wracking because I don't know what people are going to think of it because it, it's a film that's, it, I think it's got some political aspects to it as well. We've got a certain scene in it that's a little bit political. So I think it's a film that's going to test people's um, views of society and it's going to really challenge and do a lot of flip on effects and it's going to make people question that the world around us, it's quite real and raw in places. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out, like the way I created the characters on paper and the casting process and how I saw Emma and Faisal portray their characters and Rob portraying Mr Miller. It was so how I visioned it in my mind, so I was really pleased with how it came out. Oh, that must yeah. be the best feeling in the world when you have an idea in your head and then it turns out how it looked in your head. That is just, that's all you can do, isn't it, really? Yes, yeah. Uh, well, it's very exciting. I mean, I've only seen a little bit, and I, I, I mean, this isn't saying much, because I cry at anything. It's, I've got a very, my threshold for tears is very low. Mm. So, <laughs> but I think, I think it, people will find it very moving. Yes, I hope so. With a few laughs? Bit of comedy as well. Yes, we have uh, we we have some underdog characters in it. Obviously, we've got our three main leads. We've got uh, Faisal playing Lucas. We've got Mr. Miller. We've got Emma Hutchings playing the granddaughter Amy, and then we've got Frank Harper playing Lucas's community service supervisor Steve. So we've got like our four main co-lead uh, artists. Uh, but we've also got our underdog characters that are the characters around Lucas's unstable lifestyle where he's dipping in and out of crime and his mum's losing, you know, pulling her hair out of her skull with him, you know, losing her patience with him. And it's those underdog characters like Lucas's friends from school. Um, they lead a lot of comedy aspects of the film. Dude, where have you been? My cousin Elliot dropped me off in his new car. <laughs> cool. Hey, has he told you about Louise's party yet? Who? Don't get him started, man. He ain't shut up. No, come on, Louisa, the really, really fit girl. She's invited Shh. us. No, She's invited us to a party later, so we are definitely going. Mate, if that last does you, I'll give her a medal. It's not like a like a depressing film all about dementia, and you know, testing a little bit of politics here and there. It's not an overly depressing film. It's it's got its ups and downs. It's quite heartwarming and it's got it's got some humour in it. So it's a film you'll watch and you'll you'll kind of experience all kinds of emotions all throughout it. So it's like it's reflecting a whole journey of life really. Fantastic. Yeah. Well I'm very excited for you. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you didn't grow up in a modern society where everyone expects you to be something you're not. You're meant to have my back. Where you are, where you're from, but I'm here. Anyone see you fall?